Well, hello scrappers. This is going to be another short video on using Eco Gold X for stripping gold plating. So, what I've got here is some spent Eco Gold X, and I am in the process of adjusting the pH down to where I can do the zinc cementation on it. And I hope it's showing up on the video the white precipitate that's forming. Now, at the moment, I am using. Um, hydrochloric acid this time to adjust the pH whoa trying to bubble over I put it in a little too fast but it seems like whenever you adjust the pH on this stuff below below a certain point you start getting this white precipitate coming out and it's starting to starting to form a film on the bottom of the beaker I hope that's showing up um, and I have used four different acids now. Just been experimenting. I have used citric acid. I have used um, sulfuric acid. I have used hydrochloric acid. And I have used uh, nitric acid. And with all four acids, you get the exact same reaction. You get this white precipitate. Don't know what it is. Uh, it seems to be something in the Eco Gold X that's just not going to stay in solution once the pH drops below a certain point, no matter what acid you're using. So, uh, it just seems to be a fact of life. Now, in one of my earlier videos, somebody suggested, well, filter that white precipitate out before you add the zinc to cement out the gold, and maybe you'll have less of a mess. And, you know, at first, uh, at first thought, that seems like a really good idea. So I did some experimenting. I've been doing a lot of experimenting with this Eco Gold X off camera. And I would say do not filter out that white precipitate because it contains a good portion of the gold. That's one thing I found with my experimentation. That white precipitate has a lot of gold in it, so don't filter it out. Uh, just leave it in there. You're just going to have to live with it. Okay? That first zinc cementation, you're going to have a lot of this white precipitate mixed in with the zinc and the cement gold, and you're just going to have to deal with it. If you throw it out, you're going to lose a lot of your gold. And another thing my experimentation has taught me... Wow. Every time I stir it up, the, the head pops back up there. I need to uh, get that beaten down some so I can... Uh, test the pH of the liquid before I add any more acid to it, see if we're getting close. Um, but another thing my experimentation has taught me is don't use nitric acid. Everything seems to go fine with nitric acid. It, it works just like hydrochloric acid over here or sulfuric acid or citric acid. Like the first the, the first time I started using Eco Gold X, the instructions said to use citric acid, so I used it. And uh, it, it, the nitric acid seems to work just as well as everything else. Everything goes just, you know, like this. You get the foam, you get the white precipitate. The problem is the gold does not want to come out of solution. I don't know why. You know, it, it, the, the cementation doesn't go right. Um, and then when you do get some sort of cementation, some sort of black stuff on the zinc, if you dissolve that in aqua regia, it's very difficult to drop the gold out. So don't use nitric acid. It causes some sort of adverse chemical reaction with the Eco Gold X. And it's, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to get your gold back. So don't use nitric acid. So uh, the instructions no longer say to use citric acid. Um, they specifically say sulfuric or hydrochloric. So you should probably stick to those. Let me do the experimenting and lose my gold so you don't have to, okay? But, uh, yeah, this precipitate, it just seems to be a fact of life with Eco Gold X. Um, no matter what acid you use, once you bring the pH down below a certain point, boom, it forms. And, like I said, don't throw it out, or you'll be throwing out you know, a fair amount of gold with it. You're just going to have to live with it. Okay, so there's another Eco Gold X short update. I hope you found this useful. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. If so, give it a like. And there will be more videos coming out in the future on all aspects of 
gold recovery from e-waste. So subscribe to see those future videos, press the little bell icon that YouTube makes you press to be notified when those videos come out. And I'll see you next time. I got gold to recover from this. Bye.